Welcome to Sarasas with Edrum Cloud School Learn from Home online class. I will be your science grade 3 teacher and my name is Miss Krista Gale as Kana or you can simply call me Teacher Krista. So for us to start, we need two materials. What are those? One is a notebook and the other one is a pencil. So as you can see on the screen, we have the format of our notebook. Please take a look closely on the picture. Now we are going to meet twice in a week, but we will be using one page every week only. Now three important things to remember upon doing the notebook. First, we have the dictation number. Second, underline. And number three is to check the words once you're done with the dictation words. Once you're done in doing the format, let us do the dictation words. So first, you need to fill in the date for today. Make sure to take note that it's the first dictation, or number one. Are you ready? The first word, human. Human. Number two, genetics. Genetics. And number three, traits. Traits. Once you're done, try to see if you got it all correct and make sure to put a check mark beside it. You can keep your notebooks for now and I need your full attention towards the screen. During this week, we will be learning all about the circle of life. And in this, we will have the first three subtopics. First, we have human genetic traits. Second, we have the animal genetic traits. And last one, we have plant genetic traits. Can you try saying these words with me? Again, human genetic traits. Animal genetic traits. Plant genetic traits. In order for us to understand better, we need to learn and remember a few words. Let us have our vocabulary and try repeating these words after me. First, we have offspring. Birth, genetic, generation, DNA, trait. Great job. Now let us try to know their meaning. So for our first word, we have offspring. What is an offspring? These are children from parents. One great example is you. Next, we have birth. Birth is the process of when an offspring begins life. Another example is when you were in your mother's womb. Third, we have DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Again, it is deoxyribonucleic acid. It's a genetic code of life. 
Now, each living thing has a unique and different DNA. Fourth word is genetic. The meaning of genetic, it is something to do with DNA or it is related to DNA. Again, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Fifth word, we have trait. Trait is a special characteristic. Examples of these are the color of your hair, or it can either be the type of your hair, and as well as your eyes. What's the color of your eyes? And lastly, generation. All the people of the same age group or time. Now let's proceed to our first subtopic, which is the human genetic traits. Now human genetic traits are passed from parents to their offspring. At the same time, these genetic traits are all contained with DNA, which is a sort of genetic code that is in every living thing. Now most life comes from another thing or another person. Without your father or your mother, you would have not been born. That is how genetic traits are passed from one generation to the next. As an example, we have a picture of a family in here. And as you can see, there are three different generations. First, we have the grandparents' generation. Second is your parents' generation. And lastly is your generation. In the previous picture, you have seen an example of a family's generation. Every human contains DNA, and this DNA is a sort of genetic code. This code contains the characteristics or traits that you have inherited from your parents. Here are a few examples of it. First, we have our ears. can either be with or without lobe. Next, the color of our eyes can either be brown, blue, or green. Next, our nose it can either be a flat or high. And last, we could have our hair type it can either be straight or a curly one. These are only just few characteristics, but in every characteristic or trait that you have makes you unique and different. Now let us have animal genetic traits. Animals, just like humans, are also living things. Each animal is different from each other, yet they do carry DNA or a genetic trait that is being passed on from a parent to its offspring. Now let's take a look an example about this. Now we have on the picture in here a rabbit. Now rabbit comes in many different colors. Of course, they had inherited it from their parent. Same thing with dogs. Dogs do have different breeds, and of course, they had it from their parent. Now, a few other examples of animal traits are their eyes, their skin pattern, and even their horns. These are just only a few out of so many characteristics that they have. So we are done with our first two topics, which is human genetic traits and animal genetic traits. Let us try to see if you have learned something out of the video. Please read the questions and answer it carefully. Good luck! So for our summary, Today you have learned about the circle of life, which contains the human genetic trait and the animal genetic trait. 
our next meeting, we will be discussing all about plant genetic traits. Thanks for listening and hope to see you again in our next online session. Take care.